Welcome back all of you all. Today's interview is with Dr. Sanam. Dr. Sanam, the very talented uh, who has secured rank 31 in FET 2022. This interview is uh, for her to discuss with us her background and her strategy to prepare for this exam. Uh, such interviews help the upcoming batches to know what all to read and where to read from to prepare for the exam. So over to you, Dr. Sanam. Many congratulations on this wonderful result. And uh, let's hear it from you. What is your story, Dr. Sanam? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I'm Sanam Islam. I'm from Kolkata. And uh, uh, I did my MBBS from RG Kaur Medical College, Kolkata. And uh, post-graduation from VIMS, Kolkata. Uh, I passed my MS in 2019. And uh, then I did my three years compulsory bond posting in West Bengal. Okay, so West Bengal, you have compulsory three years bond yes. posting after yes. PG. Yes, after PG only. Okay. So 19 to 20. 22, I just finished, <laughs> finished my bond. You have just finished. All right. Yeah. So when did you start preparing for these super specialty exams? Uh, Ma'am, uh, actually, I started preparing for this FAT uh, from November onwards, actually. Okay, because, November 2022 uh, only. Yeah, yeah. Because, ma'am, uh, before that, actually, uh, I was pregnant and I was uh, diabetic, was taking insulin. So I, okay. I had to take leave in November. So I was at home. Okay. So, so I started preparing. Anytime before your pregnancy or during your PG times, did you, uh, you know, get the idea that you should be reading more, you should be preparing for one of the exams? Or was it yes, just in November? No, ma'am. Uh, during my bond periods, uh, I thought of giving this super specialty exam only. Okay. So how was the reading like before your pregnancy or maybe in 2020 or 21? Uh, Ma'am, uh, in 21, I just appeared in the exam, but without any preparation okay. because okay. Uh, that time I was uh, uh, giving, I had my MRCOG part three exam okay. that time. So I focused on that only. All right. So the previous exams, you were not seriously attempting? No, not at all. Okay, so the serious attempt was this FET only. This time only, yeah. Wonderful. So, what all did you read in all these bond uh, years of your bond? Ma'am, uh, in my bond period, I finished my MRCOG all steps. Okay, so you finished all those MRCOG steps. Did yeah, that yeah. help in FET preparation? Uh, a lot, ma'am, because those RCOG guidelines uh, in FET I have seen because a lot of questions uh, they are, uh, I mean, they are giving from RCOG, ACOG guidelines. But in your notes, you compiled everything. It was very helpful. So uh, let's talk about FET. What all? Uh, what was your source for preparation for FET? Ma'am, solely it was from your notes only because I had no time. I did not read any big books. Okay. So you haven't read big books. For MRCOG, mm -hmm. you did RCOG guidelines. And for yes. uh, FET, you did everything from Repunica. Yes. So, your notes. Okay. Notes only. Did you prepare your own notes? No. Nothing. You don't have time. You were I have only time. seen all your videos and okay. uh, I have revised those notes, whatever you uploaded in the website. So I revised them like okay. four to five times. Four to five revisions of the entire content. Yeah. Wonderful. So, <laughs> sorry. When did you start preparing with Repro Need Learning? Uh, Ma'am, I, uh, I took your uh, like, uh, regular coaching in uh, March, April. But that time okay. I did not read anything. Okay. I started in not. November. You yeah. started seriously in November only. November, yes. So yes. that is, I think, two months of preparation only? Uh, nearly ma'am, three months because exam got postponed. Okay, so the exam was in February. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so November, December and half of February. Yeah, yeah. You did the preparation. So two and a half months preparation is sufficient to prepare for FET exam and get a good rank. Because ma'am, uh, I got everything from your notes. Because yes, everything was there. And your uh, background was also good because you had prepared for MRCOG. Yes, ma'am. So, so often I knew mostly. Yes, a lot, lot of guidelines you already knew and then everything was compiled in the repertory yeah, yeah. coaching. Yes, yes. Uh, wonderful. Uh, how? Which branch have you taken after your FET exam? Ma'am, reproductive medicine. So how was this decision made? Ma'am, truly speaking, I never thought of taking this reproductive medicine earlier. Okay. But after reading those notes, oh, I actually, right. uh, I have, uh, I, I have developed this interest in this reproductive medicine. All oh, right. So you developed interest after joining the class. Because yes. that you didn't have any idea. You were not no, very I was very, No, I was confused what to take. Okay, because students keep asking me. After result, also students keep wondering whether to take reproductive medicine or maternal fetal medicine. Can you give a few tips on this? 
how to decide is it just the interest ma'am truly speaking i was very confused too but uh, then i thought ki i have more interest in repro okay. because i like reading repro yes so okay. i have taken it okay so interest is an important factor I if you're interested so. in reproductive medicine you will take reproductive medicine that should yeah. be the basis according to you uh, let's talk about the exam how many questions did you attempt in the exam ma'am i attempted 96 96 and the ones you left were the ones which you did not know anything about yes ma'am okay so the strategy was there before giving the exam also that i'm going to attempt maximum and uh, 95 i will attempt uh, you had i thought, thought you uh, yeah like this before giving that exam okay so just before the exam like there is a pdct exam uh, in a few days just before the exam any tips you would give to students what to do in the last 5 days of exam just revise the notes only because everything is there if you revise those notes you have confidence uh, that i have revised everything yes confidence is important because in the exam you get nervous the questions are simple and you may go wrong because you were nervous so a lot yes. of revisions give you confidence right wonderful uh, it was so nice having to talk with you dr sanam uh, we could take this interview to eternity you know continue it for a long time but still you have a baby yes dr sanam also has delivered a baby very recently uh, congratulations on that Thank and you. congratulations you know on being able to prepare with your pregnancy with all the stress of pregnancy so it is still possible you know in the most difficult times of your life you're going to get pregnant maybe two times for us doctors two times is a lot of times so in those are the most difficult times according to me in our lives getting pregnant last month of pregnancy it was difficult because when i went for the exam yes. i was 32 weeks pregnant all right and i am diabetic I, i was taking like 50 units insulin so okay. it was stressful for me so with insulin and with a pregnancy with a 32 week baby you prepared for two months you took the exam yes. many congratulations you know on uh, excelling acing both the walks of life you have a family and you have a good result wonderful many congratulations on this so that's also you know uh, a motivation to students that whatever you are facing in your personal life you can still prepare for the exam in just two months if you are dedicated and you yes. if you have got the right study material definitely so what seat did you get allotted uh, ma'am uh, reproductive medicine in ruby hall pune ruby hall pure wonderful that's a wonderful seat uh, many many congratulations dr sadam uh, it was wonderful having you over it was wonderful speaking with you we'll definitely you. stay in touch yes ma'am